hot. Oh my god. Oh, it's so cool in here. Oh, I'm glad I wore my thong. Oh, hope the chair's warm. Hi, darling. How are you? Oh, oh, it's cold. Oh, oh, well, hello. Welcome to Don't Tell Mama. Oh, well, how have you been? How's your day? Good, good. How's everybody else doing? I'm squinting because I'm old and have cataracts. Okay. Oh, I just love the summer, don't you? Oh. So many reasons to drink rosé and so many reasons not to wear a bra. <laughs> oh, I love it. You know, every time the weather starts to get warm, I remember my first summer romance. Oh, yes. So many romances. But this one was very special because it was the first time. Everybody remembers their first love. When I was a very young girl in Queens, many, 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 many years ago. <laughs> oh, don't ask. Anyway, there was a boy. His name was Erwin Martorelli. His, uh, it's a gorgeous name. Uh, his parents owned the pizza parlor on the corner, and my building was next to it, and they lived above it. Oh my God, I loved passing by and seeing him every day. He had the body of an Adonis, curly black hair, sexy Italian good looks, and free pizza. <laughs> that was the best part. <laughs> anyway, I would always see him working sometimes at the pizza parlor with the tightest little white t-shirt and his muscular arms just showing. Oh, I wish I was a Hanes t-shirt. Oh, so gorgeous. Anyway, he was always very fit, very trim, and the sweetest boy, he always used to do these little flips and tricks and things in Astoria Park. Well, one day, that's how he kept in shape. He was a flipper. Anyway, one afternoon, me and my friend Lorraine, we were walking past the park, and he was doing his flips shirtless. Oh, my God. I couldn't stop staring at him. I don't know what happened to Lorraine. I haven't heard from her since. She just kept walking. I just stood there looking at him. This gorgeous boy, shirtless, doing all these high kicks, and I was just drooling, just looking at him. I make the same face when I look at dessert. Anyway. I was glad he didn't see me looking at him because at that point, a damn pigeon pooped in my hair. So I had to rush away, hoping he didn't see me. Well, I'm rushing away and then I said, oh, I have to look one more time, just one more time. And I look over my shoulder and he just did a flip. And he was so happy he did the flip because then he just smiled, that gorgeous smile. <laughs> The moment I saw him smile, I knew he was just my style. My only regret is we never met, though I dream of him all the while. But he doesn't know I exist, no matter how I may persist. Though it's clear to see there's no hope for me Though I live at 5135 Kensington Avenue And he lives at 5133 How can I ignore the boy next door? I love him more than I can say Doesn't try to please me Doesn't even tease me And he never sees me glance his way And though I'm hot sore The boy next door Affection for me won't display I just 
adore him, but I can't ignore him. The boy next door. You know, that summer before our senior year, we had to take biology class in summer school. And to my surprise, the first day I walked in, guess who was sitting in the room with me? Erwin. Could you die? I did. Anyway, I was surprised that the teacher made us lab partners, mainly because we were the only two in the class. But, don't ask. Anyway, I was so excited. I mean, inside, inside I was, ah! But outside I was cool as a cucumber. Anyway, I was so happy that we were partners and everything. And, you know, we started to form a little friendship. And, uh, I don't know, I, I started to feel a little bit more for him. And I didn't know how he felt about me. You know, and then one rainy afternoon, we were sitting in the library studying for an assignment and he forgot his textbook and we had to sit very, very close together and share mine. He touched me. He put his hand near mine and then he touched me. I felt a sudden tingle when he touched me. A sparkle, a glow, he knew it, it wasn't accidental, no, he knew it, he smiled and seemed to tell me so, all through it, he knew it, I know, he's real, and the world is alive and shining. I feel such a wonderful drive toward Valentine. He touched me. I simply had to face the fact that he touched me, control myself, and try to act as if I remembered my name Cause he touched me <gasps> He touched me And suddenly Nothing is the same Cause he touched me Oh darling, he touched me And suddenly Nothing, 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 nothing is the same.